Hey, welcome back, friends. So the RV industry, the boom is over. I'm going to go ahead and call it here, late July 2022. Uh, this is going to be, yeah, this is going to be really bad. As much as it was a perfect storm for the RV industry with COVID, uh, it's also now a perfect storm in the opposite direction for them. And I'm, I'm going to talk about that in a couple of personal experiences I've had to back that uh, back that statement up. Uh, we're also going to talk about how this is going to be really good for those of you who have been waiting to purchase an RV. I hope you'll stick around. brought to you by rvmattress.com a brooklyn bedding brand brooklyn bedding is known for the top of the line comfort and quality plus their mattresses are made right here in the good old usa and shipped to you for free rvmattress.com makes mattresses perfect for your situation that includes non-traditional sizes even bunks so rvmattress.com offers sizes ranging from six inches all the way up to 14 inches these fits a lot of times are lighter in weight and also flexible keeping underbed storage in mind so when I'm searching for a mattress, comfort is key. And as you know, we're out adventuring during the day and we want to be super comfy when we're sleeping at night at the campsite. So a good night's sleep for me means we're gonna really enjoy our adventures the next day. So based on this, we got the queen size Aurora mattress in medium firmness. So we've been in this mattress now for a few months and it's undoubtedly the most comfortable mattress we've tried and we've tried several. It's even more comfortable than our mattress here at our Sticks and Bricks, and that one costs hundreds of dollars more. So the best part about all of this is Brooklyn Bedding manufactures all of their RV mattresses in their own factory in Arizona. That means they can skip the middleman, use great materials, and pass that cost savings on to you. Also, RVmattress.com delivers your mattress to you for free. The Brooklyn Bedding mattress comes rolled up in the box. It's super easy to get into the RV and install. So if it makes you nervous to buy something you haven't tried, Brooklyn Bedding has a 120 night sleep trial. So that means you get three months to decide if you love it. And if you don't, you get a full refund. On top of all this, RVmattress.com offers a 10 year warranty. So you can rest easy on all of your exciting adventures. So I love our RV mattress by Brooklyn Bedding and I think you would too. So if you're looking for a new RV mattress, be sure to check out rvmattress.com. Hop down there, click on the link below, or go to rvmattress.com slash wondering. You're gonna type in the promo code wondering and save 20% on your mattress. So thanks again for rvmattress.com for giving you guys a promo code. Now let's get back to today's video. Okay, let me start this video by uh, sending my thoughts and prayers to those who uh, have already or will be losing their job up in Indiana. Um, the RV industry is already showing signs that, um, not showing signs, they are actually closing plants. They're laying people off. Um, a simple Google search will show you that. If you, show, if you just Google layoffs, Elkhart, uh, you'll see a couple of stories starting to pop up. Unfortunately, those stories are going to become more common in the coming months. And yeah, my thoughts and prayers are with you. I, I had a, a large contract cancel on me last year, and I kind of understand what that feels like, and it stinks. It really does. So uh, we're thinking about you guys. Secondly, I'm not going to be naming names here. Uh, we have, uh, you know, you guys know we're brand ambassadors for a couple of brands. Uh, if you make assumptions, you're probably wrong. If you're making assumptions that that's where some of this information comes from, you're probably wrong. Um, yeah, I'm not going to name names. Just like I said, the Google search uh, and you'll get some more information there. So a couple of personal stories from my standpoint and uh, to, to let you know that this is happening. And the first one's actually a couple months ago. The, you know, these big companies, the, they, have, they try to look as far forward as they can. And actually a large company came to me to actually sponsor the channel. So I don't know if you realize it or not, even though we're brand ambassadors for a couple of other brands, uh, we don't actually have a channel sponsor. And so a company reached out to me looking to do that. They made the offer and you know, when you start a YouTube channel, that's like a dream come true, right? You're like, oh, it'd be cool if we got sponsors and all that stuff. But my first instinct was, mm, I don't know, I don't want to do that. I, you know, it was a reputable brand, uh, you know, but uh, I just, I didn't want to be beholden to anyone, quite frankly. And, um, you know, as the YouTube channel grows, as the community grows, I love just being able to do whatever the heck I want to do. Um, you know, and so I, I didn't, I thought about it because it was a it was a it was a fair offer and uh, I thought about it 
And I reached back out to them. I didn't say yes, I, but I reached back out and I said, listen, I'm thinking about this, but if I do this, I'm not going to change. Nothing's going to change. Nothing, you know, we're not going to do any of that. I'm going to still do reviews on whatever I want to review. And if you guys send me something bad, I'm going to let them know that too. And so, um, and so, yeah. Then finally, I said, you know what? And they, they were good with that, by the way. They, they said, no, we don't want to change anything. So since they were good with that, I told them, sure, let's do it. Um, I reached out to them about 10 days later and, and finally said yes. And they reached out to me. I say reached out a lot. They came back to me almost immediately and said, listen, that was really bad timing on our part. We are so sorry. We just had an all-hands meeting. We are to freeze all spending and to reevaluate our budgets. And at the time, four or five months ago, three, four, five months ago, I don't remember how long now, you know, the RV industry is still doing okay. You know, and, and, but that let me know, okay, these guys are pumping the brakes. These guys are seeing, uh, looking as far forward as they can. And the, what they're seeing is not good. What they're predicting is not good. They got some smart people working on their team. I mean, uh, you know, you don't build those type of companies without having smart folks on your team. So that was a red flag. It's like, okay, it's starting to slow down, I guess. Fast forward a few months. And, uh, and yeah, you, now you're starting to hear the rumors and some of those rumors have been confirmed uh, via stories that you can read on Google that layoffs are happening, people are losing their jobs, plants are closing, and yeah, now, not only are they now pumping the brakes, they're now putting things in reverse and backing up and saying, well, well we, we don't need to build this many. No one's ordering them. No dealers aren't ordering them. So manufacturers make them, dealers order them, dealers sell them to you. Well, the dealers are not ordering right now because they're overloaded with inventory because demand has gone down. Interest rates have gone up. Gas prices, we all know what happens to, what has happened with the gas prices, right? I mean, how could that not hurt their industry? And uh, so, yeah, it's a perfect storm. You've also got a situation where buying season is coming to an end. People are going back to school and you've got an overloaded used market. A lot of people got into the, the hobby and they decided it wasn't for them. They, they wanted to go back to hotels and cruises and stuff like that. And now they're selling their unit. You see a lot of units up for sale that's been used once or twice. Kind of knew it was coming and I think it's here. So yeah, that's my, that's my thought on why the boom is over. Now, more importantly, and this is good news for most of us, for basically all of us that aren't in the industry, because we're RVers, we're not in the industry. We make videos about them, but uh, we're not actually in the industry. Uh, we don't sell RVs. And so for those of us not in the industry, this is great news because parts are going to start to come down. Uh, you know, service prices are going to come down. RV prices themselves are going to come down. They have to. When demand comes down, prices go down. Now, it may take a few months, but I think if you have waited this long, if you've packed your patience, you've waited on buying an RV, good for you. Good for you for being patient. Uh, I think by November, December, you're really going to start to see the fruits of your labor, the fruits of your patience pay off. And so, uh, so yeah, hang in there for a few more months. These dealers are going to start hurting. I don't like that, but it does mean better deals for you. So, yeah, what do you think? Hop down in the discussion and let us know. Get in that comment section. Uh, chat it up down there. What do you think? Do you think the RV industry boom is over? Do you think this is just a short pause? Um, yeah, and, and here, here's the deal too, guys. Don't get political. Please don't get political. I know it's tempting to get political on some of these subjects. The country's going into a recession. It's basically already there. I understand that, but this is an RV channel. So let's stay away from politics. Okay, go do that somewhere else if you don't mind. Um, so yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it's useful. And if you're looking for an RV, wait a few more months and you might be in good shape. See ya.